for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Sorry, guys. Quick little call to action. Headphones are on. I forgot to do it in the video. Mm, goal is 100 likes, hopefully. If you guys do that, that'd be awesome. And make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 3K by the end of this month, so hopefully you guys can do that for me. Let's get into the video. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Old video. And today, I got for you guys a coin-making method. It's been a while since I've had one because with the way Madden's played lately, they haven't really given us any opportunities to make too many coins per se on a method, like how they used to be like the, the re-roll in the 80s and stuff. Like those are a little riskier, so I decided to not post those as much anymore because they're a bit on the riskier side. And I don't really want to give you guys tips to make you lose coins. And obviously with any method, there's going to be a potential chance to lose coins. But the ones with a lower chance of losing coins are the ones we're going to focus on, obviously, because the chance to make hundreds of thousands and only lose maybe 30k potentially at the worst outcome isn't bad in my opinion so before i get into this video guys just want to let you guys know thank you for all the support um with the whole setup change and everything and i plan to change it again sorry about that like i said i'm gonna put it right there i just need to go do some shopping get myself a new lens and then get some more lights back there and then once i got all that i'm making the switch and yeah, that's about it for the video guys i'm just letting you know that this is a precautionary method also i'll explain what i mean in a second i'll explain the whole thing right now actually so first things first right and this sunday they're dropping new power-ups do i know what the power-ups are yet no idea but that's that's kind of irrelevant to be honest it's just about the power-ups themselves the power-ups typically when they come out are very valuable at first now how does this tie into our coin making method right it's probably you're wondering so first Let's say there's going to be like four to five power-ups, right? Just going to give you guys an example. I don't know the exact number. So the way that's going to work is you want to be able to get these power-ups because the first day they're selling for a ton. So like to give you guys in the reference point when the rookie premieres have whatever, then they were already done and stuff. They were already towards the end of their lives. Madden dropped a bunch of the rookie premiere cards as power-ups. Specifically Saquon Barkley is one that I remember. When they dropped this wave, they had like a wave a few weeks where they were dropping power-ups just about every sunday and when they did that and the power-ups were crazy expensive on that sunday so the way you're going to do this is saquon bark was going for 80k right so if you pulled him you made a ton of coins if you pulled multiple of him you made a ton of coins they had the uh Mc mckelvin whatever that guy's name is that cornerback i'm pretty sure that's his name but anyways or sean melvin maybe whatever so let me let me get let me get into this so the way you're gonna want to go about this is first things first you come to this pack right here when they come out so when they come out on sunday Obviously, what I'm gonna show you right now doesn't apply to now, but just showing you guys how to do it for when it does happen to you. Because I know a lot of you guys, with you guys, with work schedules, school schedules, you don't have time to be watching these videos the day it happens or whatever work schedule is Sunday with the family. So I'm just gonna let you guys get the information now, so that when it comes time, when you have the time to do it, you just go do it. And also, I'll remake the video on Sunday, doing it live on camera, so you guys can all see how it works. So the way you're gonna do this is you're gonna open these packs. This isn't the method though. This is just how you get the cards. So let me explain the math of this pack. So this pack right here can give you a gold, a silver, power up. So pretty much you're going to open up about, let's say, so if you guys a reference point, you open about 10 of these, right? I'm not going to open 10 because there's nothing in packs to pull right now, but you're going to open about 10 of these. That would be 5k coins. So the way it's going to work is if you get a power up, that's cool. If you get the right, if you get the go when you sell it, and if you get gold, you automatically make your money back out of power up. So let's see what I get. Brian O'Neill, right? So now, does that matter right now? Not really. We're looking for the new ones, but there is no new ones right now. So you get the point. So I'm going to stop there. That's kind of the point. I'll give you guys one more, actually. So if you get a gold, you sell it. If you get a silver, you hold it. I'll explain that in a second. And the power-ups, you either you, you sell them. You sell the power-ups. So let's say you do 10. That'll cost you 5K. Now you have 10 cards to work with. Let's, let's assume they're all silver. Well, let's assume two, let's, let's assume two are golds, one's a power-up, seven are silver. So you keep the seven silver. You sell the power for about 1,500 if it's just a bad one. That leaves you with about 3.5K coins lost. And then you sell the two goals leaves you with about 2.5k coins lost. So now you're down to about 2.5k coins that you've lost so far. So what you do is you go over to this set right over here. You go over to the exchange set. You take your silver. So remember, you've only lost 2.5k so far. And you have about 7 uh, silver work. What you're going to do is you're going to do the low silver exchange. Now remember, you don't have to open these packs. What you can also do is you can just, if you have a massive binder of silvers, just use this pack. Because this pack... Or just you know, the overall the new power-ups are typically so look I got a power-up this this thing spits out power So it's Bobby Wagner right there. So if I sell him he probably goes for like a thousand coins So I'm only down 1.5k coins now. Maybe, maybe actually less. I'm probably down 1k coins. So now I can do two more because I have seven 
so two times three is six and then i have an extra one so now if i do this one right here i get another power up russell wilson all right so now at this point i've made coins i've gained coins and that's without even new power ups to be pulled so like i'm gaining coins with nothing to be pulled so when the new powers come out this is a very very profitable set so look 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 another three power ups in a row we get michael thomas all right so i did three so let's say i pulled two golds a power up i sell those leaves me with 2.5k coins i did those three i probably just i probably just gained coins i just made profit if i was to pull them all and that's without you have to pull anything good there's like no there's no high reward to this it's just risk so if you look at it michael thomas goes for 1k and then russell wilson goes for let's see what he's going for 2.8k so i made like three to four k coins now and bobby wagner goes for 6k so i actually made like almost eight to nine k now and then brian o'neill goes for almost three i'm just gonna buy that I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that maybe i could resell that all right so if you got if you guys are comprehending this now now let's let's, let's implement the new power-ups right so right now this set almost is very close to low risk so the way you're gonna want to do this is if you think about it being low risk here you can do this over and over and over again and maybe keep breaking even right so that's cool you're gonna keep breaking even hopefully i mean i've seen people who've lost like 20 to 30k on this but again 20 to 30k doesn't matter when you have the chance to pull hundreds of thousands of coins right what sucks is when you do re-rolls and you could literally lose a few hundred k or you can gain 100k it's like even it's like you can gain this much or lose this much this one in this case is like you could lose starting here let's say you could lose like i probably just made a weird noise and they auctioned my bad you could probably gain like lose that much but you can also gain this much so like it's it's very very worthwhile so let's say this weekend they drop new power-ups i don't know who's missing one but let's say um let's just say odell kittle and andrew luck they i know they all have them i'm choosing them for an example so the dog comes out sunday morning right you hop on xbox you start doing this method odell is going to go for probably 80k that's what the newest ones that the, the rarest card of the bunch or the the, the most one that's most valuable out of the bunch you're gonna go for the most so let's say they go for about 80 to 50k somewhere between there you do this right you do this for a while you pull a bunch you pull a bunch you break even you maybe gain 5k and then finally you pull Odell. because typically a lot of people pull the good ones you can read my comments when i've done this in the past people have pulled a lot of the good ones so typically the way this will work is that you pull that card you sell it now you're up 50k you keep going you pull another one you're up another 30k then you pull one of the lower ones you get like 15k and then before you know you're up 100k maybe you go down 20k but you, you go up at the end of the day now if you're and some people are luckier than others right so some people might get i've seen one of my one one friends that was talking to me over twitter that was telling me when he was doing this he pulled the main card i think he pulled saquon and the other guy twice so he got like almost 200 300k and he was only playing for about an hour that's pretty insane to me that you can make that much coins that quickly just opening up 500 coin packs and remember it's not just the 500 coin packs i'm gonna go re let me just reiterate so no one forgets what to do you could also go back and watch the video again if you wanted to but so it's 500 coin packs then you I, i'd write it down person i get a piece of paper and write it down so write how much you're gonna spend on the packs write how many silvers you pulled and then you put them into this set right over here exchange set the first one players low silver to high silver player exchange because these are the ones that spit the new overalls that you want like the, the new power-ups that you want you might go through a spree of like eight silvers that's fine because think about it this way if you do if you get a few golds and you get a few power-ups in the first thing you only have to make back like three to five k so if you do like 10 of these you can do five of them and you'll say you only pull high silvers you'll make back at a at, a, at the worst a loss of like two to three k at the worst per so that's not bad at all if you only lost two to three k after doing like five to ten of these packs but then again if you just pull one or two power-ups like i just i just made at least 10 to 15k easy and if that brian o'neill sells i made even more the brian o'neill if both brian o'neill sells i just gained 30 i gained about 40k that's crazy and there's nothing there's nothing to even have to be had in packs right now so for me i think that's awesome so again can't really do much more into this because this isn't sunday i will be remaking the video the day of showing you guys live what's going on but thank you so much for watching the video Hopefully this helps. Hopefully it gets you guys coins in a year, in a time of the year where it's kind of slow right now. And um, also, just thanks for all the support lately, guys. It's been it's been pretty crazy for me. Started only two to three months ago, so still getting the hang of things. You know, obviously it's not perfect yet. I'm still working on things. Hopefully I can get those two soft boxes, change the camera there, get the new lens. Hopefully going right after this actually to go buy it. And once I have everything done, I can get the setup complete, and then I can start focusing and taking the slower time of band to edit, work on content 
maybe get some gameplay kind of content in because obviously I didn't do it before because my OBS wasn't working for gameplay, but I got it fixed now. Also, I'm probably going to take the camera off the cam link because I feel like my quality doesn't look as good because I'm on a cam link. Trust me, if I took this off the cam link, this thing would be like super crisp. It's an expensive camera, but I feel like the cam link kills it a little bit. But that's what it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as per usual. Thank you, guys. It means a lot. I'm out. Also, like goal is going to be 100 likes if you guys can do that for me. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.